What is the perfect budget when it comes to manual bidding? Hey guys, what's up? I'm basically gonna be breaking down what is the best budget when it comes to manual bidding, how the budget system works, basically explaining from A to Z how manual bidding works when it comes to different bids, different budgets, and basically just how it works in general. So if you like these sort of manual bidding videos, definitely drop a comment below and let me know. Be like, hey, I want more manual bidding videos because I'm more than willing to provide more content completely free. On top of that, if you like my videos, definitely drop a like on this video. If you want me to work with you one-on-one, -on -one, definitely apply for the one-on-one -on -one mentorship program, which is in the description below. My team actually goes ahead and goes through all the answers and we pick those who seem like they're serious, those who are willing to invest in themselves. And I actually go ahead and reach out to you guys personally and we jump on our interview call to see if you're suited for the program. But yeah, last but not least, don't forget to subscribe because you know, I'm dropping golden nuggets videos like these daily so definitely subscribe and drop any questions in the comments below because you might be featured in a future video with me personally answering your question all right the first thing you want to do is not bother with manual bidding if you have a budget of five to three hundred dollars manual bidding just doesn't work on low budgets you can't have 50 50 dollar budgets you can't have you know 50 hundred dollar budgets on manual bidding it's better to have one big fat manual bidding ad set. So when it comes to the manual bidding's budget, it's basically a leveled competition. You're probably confused what I meant by a leveled competition. That's exactly what I'm gonna go ahead and explain right now. So for an example, let's say your budget is $500 on a manual bidding ad set. What is basically gonna happen is you'll be bidding against everyone else with a budget of $500. Now, as you can imagine, there's gonna be heaps of people with manual bidding ad sets with $500 budgets. On top of that, you'll be competing with people with $500 ad set budgets. As I just said, that would have a lot of people. So in order to get traffic, you're gonna to need to have a high bid cap. So basically you'll be bidding against everyone with a $500 budget. So it just depends on who has a higher bid. The person with the high bid will get first dibs on that traffic. So let's say there's, you know, two people, one person has a $500 budget, one person has a $500 budget. Um, this person has a bid of $30. You have a bid of 25. This person is going to get all the traffic first. He's basically going to get all the higher quality traffic and you're basically going to get his sloppy seconds. If your budget is low, you're going to be dealing with a lot of amateurs. So you basically want to just have a high bid to outcompete everyone. Now, if you have basically a budget of $500 and someone else has a budget of say $300, but the person with the lower budget has the higher bid, the person with the higher budget will take priority despite the lower person having a higher bid. Now that was pretty confusing. So you might want to rewatch that because that is a pretty important concept. Now, does that mean you should go to higher budgets to get less competition? You know, that would make sense. Bump up your budget to $1,000, $2,000, $10,000. You'd be basically just bidding against yourself. That is a pretty good option because then you'll be basically getting all the traffic at a very low bid. My answer to that is yes and no. Yes, you'll get less competition, cheaper CPMs. No, because there's a chance that you'll be basically overspending. Let's say you put a budget of $10,000. You obtained all the 30 purchases, say within the first $1,000 spent at a fast and very low cost per purchase, but now you will have 90% of the budget remaining. So Facebook is gonna go ahead and continue to be spending your money at a fast rate to finish off the remaining budget. So Facebook will be basically blowing your budget on random people in that audience. You know, at first they'll go ahead and look for people who actually can get you purchases and right after that, and once all the purchases have purchased and you're just left with people with low purchase intent, Facebook is gonna go ahead and just blow all your budget because you have a high budget. You know, you have a budget of $10,000 for that day. Facebook is wanting to reach that $10,000 mark. So it's gonna go ahead and just spend your money fast. And as a result, you're gonna be blowing and wasting a lot of money on random people. So yes, you can technically stay up to one, two, three, four a.m. See Facebook go ahead and just basically get you a bunch of cheap purchases 
really, really fast at a really low cost per purchase. And the moment you see a spike in cost per purchase, just shut down the manual bidding. That's one way to do it, but you'll just have to you know, be like a hawk and just stare at your ad set. Um, but that's definitely a tactic that you could go ahead and implement yourself. But yeah, that's basically everything you need to know when it comes to manual bidding budgets. You know, I talk about the pros and cons about using low budgets versus using high budgets. Now, I don't wanna leave you guys hanging. So I actually went ahead and thought of some tips that I reckon could help you guys out because I really wanna be providing the best content out there when it comes to Shopify dropshipping. So tips, one, have a budget of at least $300. Two, test different levels and test different bids. You wanna be basically playing around with your budget, your bids, uh, and just sort of just learn it because you know, Manual bidding is really, really hard to master. It's like a beast that you need to tame. And for every product, it's gonna be different. But you know, eventually, you'll find that sweet spot, that sweet budget, that sweet bid. And once it's at its sweet spot, you'll be making so much money. Three, this is probably one of the most important tips I have for you. Manual bidding is all about feeling it out and sort of using your intuition. When you look at bids, you wanna look at your cost per purchase, look at your budget spent at that time. You wanna look at the speed that your budget is being spent and you wanna sort of match it up with the current bid and budget you have. And basically, you wanna fill it out based on those three metrics. And you wanna use your intuition, whether to up the bid, up the budget, decrease the bid, change the budget, and you just wanna fill it out. This is something that can only be obtained through experience. You know, I've basically obtained it after spending over five figures just on manual bidding. So, so manual bidding is definitely something for the higher players, but I definitely recommend those who wanna master manual bidding on their own, definitely spend money, test it out, build that intuition, build that gut feeling to know when to increase your bids, when to increase the budget, etc. It's definitely something that I really recommend you guys to just learn yourself. Now, if you wanna go ahead and sort of get a fast track on your learning curve and just learn all the tips and tricks right off the bat, definitely join my one-on-one -on -one mentorship program. I'm definitely accepting those people who are at that stage that are looking to take their store to the next level, whether it's taking it to 100K, whether if it is scaling from 100K up to 500K a month, definitely hit me up because manual bidding is definitely something that you wanna master as fast as possible. But yeah, I actually recommend you guys to go ahead and sort of just blow and spend some time and money to actually mastering manual bidding and sort of just getting the feeling and intuition and gut feeling of how it works, the understanding of it and sort of how it behaves. That's definitely something I recommend you guys to do because once you get that down, you basically mastered Facebook ads. But yeah, hopefully you guys like this video and hopefully I'll be catching you guys on tomorrow's video. Peace.